Joseph Ruger. I am owner operator of Upstream Farms. I'm a fourth generation farmer and we grow predominantly corn and soybeans and cattle. But a long time ago, it seemed like you had a month window to get your crops in and get your crops out and anymore. It seems like you have a limited amount of time with whether you're getting too much rainfall or not enough rainfall or the winters are getting later and spring's spilling into summer and summer's spilling into fall. And so our climate is definitely changing, it seems like. And for us as farmers, we have to be able to adapt to that. And I would say that's our biggest struggle right now. We use center pivot irrigation on a lot of our crop and we we're fortunate to have the Ogallala aquifer right directly underneath of us. So it's one of those things where water management is critical. It's pretty obvious that water is becoming more scarce. The Ogallala aquifer, it's not replenishing as fast as we're taking out of it. And so for us to manage water, it's not just to have a better ROI and to run less passes with the pivot. It's to kind of hopefully use less water, raise more with less, and allow our future generations, our kids, and our kids' kids to keep doing this if they want to. The main benefits for us for using Phytech is not only being able to see what's happening within the soil, but being able to see what happens in response to what's happening in the soil. My thoughts on technology in the agricultural industry are, I think that it's becoming one of those things where it's like any technology, it's rapidly grown over the last 20 years, you know, I think it went from not having a lot to a lot really fast. So there's been a lot of hiccups, I think. I think there's technology that has been irreplaceable, and I think this is one of those technologies, being able to monitor soil, moisture. You know, I think you can talk about soil health, you can talk about plant health, you can talk about all of those things, but it starts with water and being able to manage our water correctly. That's a technology that we're gonna to continue to use throughout our operation year in and year out. You can have auto steer on your tractor and make sure that you get your rows straight and have automatic shutoffs on the end rows so you're not over spraying or over applying or over whatever you're doing. You know, those are all things that help you save money, but to me, water management is one of the most crucial things for us on our operation. I think in a lot of operations that we're gonna to continue to use that technology on our farm. My brother and I, we play in a cover band on the weekends. And so uh, for us to be able to leave the farm and actually have a peace of mind that there is, you know, you can actually see what's happening in your field. That was really, really big for us. And that makes the cost that you have to pay for Phytech, it's, it's invaluable for us to have that technology in our field and being able to see what's going on. So yeah, like I said, first time in four generations that someone could leave the farm on the weekend and not have to feel like everything was going awry or that you had to be there. So it was great to have that technology. I would say to somebody who's looking at switching to Phytech that if you are looking to gather more data in your field and you're looking to spend money on technology and you've spent a lot of technology in the cab, whether that's related to planting or harvest or whatever it is, I think that you really should look at spending the money on technology during the growing season and what's happening in your field. Even if, you know, I've heard farmers say before, oh, I already know what my irrigation schedule is gonna look like. I run this day every single week if we don't have rain. And for me, that's not necessarily the best way to make decisions. If you're gonna make data-driven decisions on your farm and you were looking to make data-driven decisions on your farm, I think Phytech is a great way to be able to do that and be able to monitor what's happening in your fields.